Shell. Bye bye to you, Shell. Hey! Hey guys, I bought a second home in London. Hey! Yes. I'm so gingered right now. I'm so happy because it wasn't an easy journey. Honestly, guys, it literally was a tough journey, but it was God's plan. Seven days, seven nights, 12 hour shifts, weekend working, name it all. Like, it was hard, but got there in the end so I'm so grateful so I just want to use this opportunity to say to you guys that if you have got something that you're working towards then keep going stay motivated stay determined and be consistent because yes it shall come to pass the tongue is powerful so make sure you speak things into existence whatever you desire in this life speak it into existence be patient stay consistent and you will definitely be one to testify. So in this video today, I'm just gonna talk you through the steps of how I bought a second home. So guys, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. So number one was raising the deposit. It's not easy, guys. It takes discipline, you know, in saving and stacking up your money. But one thing I'd say is make sure you actually have the deposit in your account because at times, estate agents may ask you for proof of deposit and if you put in an offer in a property you like and you can't show proof of deposit then they might not actually accept your offer and things may be difficult so make sure you have the deposit so number two is get yourself a mortgage broker and solicitor on standby i had both my mortgage broker and solicitor on standby so as soon as i put in an offer and the offer is accepted immediately that they get to work you know no wasting time so the next is house hunting so I started looking at properties but due to the covid lockdown you know i had to do some online viewings and the property i actually purchased in the end i actually had to wait over a month to view this property just because the seller was self-isolating so every how many days i'd always call the estate agents to see if it was available to view but they'll tell me no so i'm pretty sure at one point i became a nuisance because i constantly kept calling them i think at times they'll even avoid my calls <laughs> and they'll tell me to call back but yeah in this life you have to stay consistent in order to get things done so shout out to lee from beresford's estate agents thank you so much and um here are some properties i actually viewed uh, good morning guys so today um we're gonna go check out some properties um yeah property number two got my lovely mother here to help me check out some properties um she's definitely got an eye for detail so she's like the best person <laughs> that i need like she's like the best person like every viewing that like, i need her because she's just got the eye but um so yeah so we're at the first property now our appointment's at 12 o'clock so yeah so we just see how it goes It's quite small, yeah. It's small and it's like a uh, kenesu is not. So, we're at property number two now. And she really likes this one, so it seems like we're going to put an offer in this one. Yeah, I think it's oh. a nice property. Yeah. Um,
the owners are like proper gardeners with all these plants and it definitely has potential for extension there's the other residents as well that have done extension so yes apologies for the quality of this video as well because um i'm shooting my iphone so yes and also having an like you know i always like it when the property has potential mm, yeah, so you could do more stuff to it yeah i can see it yeah that one there and, the one behind it, so and then the, this one's got a conservatory yeah because it comes right across the front <laughs> um accept the offer they weren't at the property um due to this whole covid situation so my mum really likes the property the garden is like really big so there's potential to like do an extension extend the kitchen extend the bathroom so it has a lot of potential guys stay tuned and catch you later bye bye all right hey guys so we're at this third property to view it's in a brilliant location like yeah brilliant location close to the station bus stop there's like three buses so yeah hopefully it goes well we'll see how it goes mom's back again to help me with the viewings <laughs> so we'll see how that goes but yeah doodles so finally got to view the property and that same day i put in an offer i wasn't wasting any time because time has already been wasted like i'd already waited one whole month to just to view this property so put in an offer and that same day i got a call literally my offer was accepted i was elated i was so happy all right immediately i called my mortgage broker instructed the solicitors and we got the ball rolling like everyone got working so there were severe delays with the local authority searches for the property and that took like over eight weeks to come back like at this point i was shitting myself because the deadline for the stamp duty holiday was rapidly approaching because at this point god knows how much more money you'd have to fork out so thankfully the stamp duty holiday was extended till june i give glory to god so finally got all the searches back and now it's time to get the surveyor out to survey the property so i got a home buyer's report and that cost me about 600 pounds there was a three week delay with this and i was just saying to myself like god just give me patience because at this point like the devil was really trying me so now finally the contract is here Finally time to sign the contract. I signed all the relevant documents, got it back to my solicitors, and then we agreed uh, exchange and completion date. So on the date of exchange, transferred all the monies to my solicitors. Guys, be careful when you're transferring the money to your solicitors, it's very key to make sure that you're sending it to the right account. And then completion, this is the exciting bit. So overall, the process took about four months, you know, due to the COVID lockdown, this is actually a good time scale. So I'm just thankful to God. And I got my key. I will be doing a much more detailed video on buy to let properties so guys make sure you subscribe so yes guys thank you so much for watching and i hope this video has inspired you if you've got any questions please do comment below and i will see you in my next video bye for now <laughs> 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 More blessing, prosperity, good life, Amen. Dreams do come true. Yes. <laughs>